Ursula, good luck, man. You too. Nice RPS string. Ah! Oh, hate going second with this deck. What are you talking about? You won the rock, paper, scissors. You get the choice. <laughs> I wish you kind of lost real quick. <laughs> oh. I, have, I just remembered you play hand traps. Actually, I don't in this build. I've edited it. Okay, then bless the word for me. Like, the only hand trap right. I play is Garuda, but that's the only hand trap any Endymion deck plays, because it's the best one. <laughs> I agree. I actually agree. So, since you have no hand traps, uh, I'm no just going to go ahead and just go yeah, into Yeah, go this. ahead. No. I'm not even going to bother changing phases at this point. Because my yeah. turn one is actually looking pretty good right now. And furthermore, it's the first turn, the only phase that matters in the new format is main phase one. Ever since they got rid of no drawing on the first turn. Yep. I still hate it, but I can understand why. Yeah. Shrine. This is gonna look bad. I mean bad. <laughs> Because I have Beast Diary in my hand. Ooh. Top one. Obviously, I'm going to summon it. Before anything Top. else happens, and get that card out of my deck before I mill it. Yeah. The one additional spell counter on Citadel, and one on the Servant from the Shrine. Oh no, Servant's going to get three automatically because of. And the, when I actually started reading Bistiari, milling is actually a cost, so Ash yeah. can't really affect it. Yeah. Ouch. But what, I mean, but what I mean is because you've done the shrine, they've got the one additional spell counter on each of your cards anyway. Right. Servant should be on four and... This should be on two. Uh, three, because one for, one for the Bestiari and oh, no, one for... Because I'm actually just putting all of them on on servant because it only lets you put it on one card. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use servant's effect right away. Yep. Yeah. That there. I'm like debating on whether I should put jackal or should I just put another mighty master. Hmm. See, that's always the difficult thing of going first. <laughs> Like, if you never know which one to go with, and I find it just depends what options you have available. Like, I, like usually, if you don't have any, if you don't have, like, any follow-ups, like, in your hand, I'd probably just say go with the Jackal, just because it can start generating its own spell counters. True, but I don't have a need right now, since it is turn one, to blow up the field. So. True. It's just depending on what you have in your hand that's going to make the whole big difference. You know what, I'm just going to go ahead and go with Mighty Master. Fair enough. Mm, for the mirror, that's probably the better idea. The thing is, the reason why I consider Jackal is because if Casey have like something like Dark Worm, like I can just negate the on-field effect and just get rid of it. To, yeah. Before you start getting to any other plays, so going to go ahead and get rid of these two. Good old electromite. Yeah. Obviously, when you say effect. Yeah. Now, should I be greedy is the real question. Mm. No, I can't afford to be greedy. Because I could have gone for... The, I could go for the abductor and see if I can just go ahead and power through, through my spell since I already have two counters on... Citadel, yeah. 
I'm gonna fuck it, yeah, I'm just gonna go for the abductor. Okay, rough. The only problem I have with this is I won't be able to get Servant back. Well, since Servant was already special summoned through its pendulum effect, it won't be able to be special summoned anyway. True, but I like having a backup plan for turn two. I'm oh, sorry, turn three. Ah. Yep, so, I'm assuming Electro might affect on the zero. Yep. Oh, pad back the Doctor. Doctor is going to go ahead and put a counter in Citadel when it's placed. And uh, draw, draw into the Electro. Oh, yeah, true. One, so, I'm just going to go ahead and. Get rid of those two those two counters since I wasn't gonna put one additionally anyway. Yeah. Get a search. Crodo. Yeah. And this is where people start to hate this deck. Because I'm going to go ahead and go here. Oh. Doesn't really matter which is the other one. But in this case, I have to go for zero. Yeah. Because I could have just always used Chrono's effect, but... I don't really think it's necessary at this point. So, going for LP. Yeah. Someone LP, use Electromite and zero, make... <laughs> Make triple burst, LP's effect, drop a dragon out of the deck. Link the dragon and the triple burst into Argopane. Argopane's effect drops on the next gem, which is probably going to be the Vortex. Yeah. So yeah, Matt, please just go ahead and just beat through it. The and then from that, link the Argopane and the LP into the Harassic. Yeah, just let's go send it to the graveyard right away, because... Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I, I know the play, you know I've got no response. Just go for The thing is, I'm just curious if you can play through it. Because some decks I've seen are actually able to play through this. Oh, with the hand I've got... Maybe? <laughs> Depends on your draw. Pretty much. So even if I get the card I always want to draw on my first turn, it's just going to get negated. But we'll see. But the thing is, yeah. it's only going to get worse because of what I'm about to do. Oh, of course. Chronograph effect to summon. Time Gazer. Dark. Then I assume Destruder and Grave. Yep. Question is, what seven are you going to go into? Probably the one that your deck hates the most. Whoops. Wrong place. Wrong place. That's the bottom. No! <laughs> That was the one thing I was hoping not to see. <laughs> so you gotta play through five disruptions. You gotta play through and anything negates. Three, spe three spell negates. Four, technically. Well, three spell negates, one oh, arm negate, definitely. and one bounce. Okay, thinking. I'm going to assume this won't get negated. Oh, actually, I will, because that that is just the one card I really don't want you to have right now. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the counters on Dondrax to mark the levels that's being reduced. Okay, with Dondrax, though. One. Oh, come on! <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have to go ahead and use one of the Mighty Masters here and bouncing back the Abductor. Yep. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. So you still gotta deal with the bounce, a spell negate, and an omni negate. <laughs> with four cards left. Yeah. Attempt institution. <laughs> no. I'm gonna bounce back the one I just negated with the one that hasn't used the effect. Yep. And you can assume that that normal sum is gonna get bounced back up. <laughs> uh, yeah, this hand isn't really set for normal summon. Ouch. Awesome. <laughs> well, <laughs> mm. luckily for you that I can't bounce back a face down. Yep. Sad thing is that I still have a zone free. Yeah. And I also know for, I also know for a fact you've now got the Mighty Master in hand. Yeah, but that's not what I'm going to do because I'm just going to go ahead and use Abductor right away. Yeah. And just for kicks, I'm just going to go ahead and add the Jackal. <sighs> Activated Damien. Two spell count field, one on the abductor, one on the Damien. Sister. So I'm gonna pen. Yep. Jackal from hand and then probably something from extra. Well these two get counters first, so. Yep. Like I like the plays that this deck has, but sometimes you feel like a dick for doing it. Yep. What's coming out of extra? Chrono. Let's see. So pretty much if you act wait, mean, one spell card and that card doesn't go to grave. <laughs> I'm pretty much gonna blow up your field. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and tech with Chrono first. Okay. okay, so I think you're going to be with about 300. Let me see. So I know the basic combo is if you go Jackal and double Endymion, that's exact game. So I'm going to be left on, yep, 300. Can you imagine if I actually play like something like so absurd, like a Gaga -ga Cowboy in this deck? Well, actually, I was anticipating that you might have switched the Dawn Dragster into attack mode. No, I'd rather just keep that, like, just in case you have some kind of game hand. So I just end my turn with that. Yeah. Oh. Yep, yeah, that's yours. Alright, so we are playing with side decks, so I gotta really think about uh, this because I'm not since you did change your build from your video. I'm yep. not, I'm not sure, so we got I have to offer a rematch. So we can go to our side decks. What to play, what to play? I know one card could that's really gonna screw you over. Because it's not going to affect what you're trying to go for, but the other card depends on what you do. So should I go for like the just in case play or should I go for what's for sure? That's always the risky part. Ah fuck it, I'm just gonna go for it all. These three come out. 
that comes out. Gotta figure out this last slot. Like, what's your theory behind side decking? Like, do you just go for, like, taking out a certain amount of cards, or you just go out with what, what just works for you? I generally try and side in a rule of three that I don't normally want to side more than three cards because I don't want to affect my consistency too much. I agree, but my max is more on five. Yeah. I don't want to go Ooh. ahead, because I want to go ahead and draw into certain cards, but yeah. I also don't want to go ahead and ruin the consistency, like you said. Yeah. This fifth card is the one that's killing me right now. Yeah. Also, I find that one of the advantages of me meaning up Stark Goblin is that it's a very easy side, because with time rules, I don't want to play that in time. <laughs> and it's a free card, so... It's a free... It's a free draw, but... No, I mean a free it... card to take out, because it really doesn't count to anything. Like, it doesn't yeah. take away from your consistency, it doesn't take, take yeah. away from... And I also max I also max out on Sistel, so normally I also find I can take out one of those and it'll be fine. I've never set out a Citadel, but I have taken out the terraforming. Yeah. I sometimes find depending on my hand, sometimes I find myself just using spell power mastery to search for the citadel. Right. Which isn't ideal. it's never ideal, but it's an understandable I play. I usually just go for that whenever I have like an adductor or a servant in hand. So I get the two counters and then just go ahead and put the servant in with the field spell or adductor with the field spell search. Get everything going. Yeah. Alright, so I'm ready. Yeah. Have you ever been able to talk to any of the, the other YouTubers? Um, not really. Just those from my locals. <laughs> so who's at your locals? Uh, Dark Magician eighty four. Yeah, don't really have like any of the proper big names at my locals. Fair enough. Right now, like I've, I'm sure, like you saw my last video, like I just randomly got. Uh, with Tim Cox and ranked, so that was like when I saw Darren at the end, I was like, "Oh, okay, let me take advantage of this." Mm. Oh, I had to draw a perfect going first hand. This is an okay hand for going first. I'll roll with it. Well, you can go off. I have no hand traps. Yeah. <sighs> That's one card I actually had to take out of the deck. Yeah, she's okay. Like, I used to run her at one, but I just felt that I, it didn't contribute to anything I wanted to do, even as a tech choice. Yeah. Oh, I can see where this is going. Two counters on that. Probably gonna get a spell. Yep. Curse you, manual spell counter. <laughs> <laughs> we might as well put the third one on there because I know you're gonna put the Citadel. Yeah. Using a laptop or a desktop? What's that? You're using a laptop or a desktop? Desktop. I don't have a laptop. I'm using a laptop and I find it I find it a lot more uncomfortable with the laptop because I, I don't have the mouse. Yeah. Uh, reflection. Hmm. The question is which zone? Hmm. Cause that's the one thing that I actually appreciate the links for. It actually gives another dynamic as far as you have to be careful where you put it. Yeah. And which one do I want from my hand is the question. 
Depending on which card you put could actually make or break you right now. Oh, I should have done something else first. God. <sighs> Misplay. Messed up. It's fine. What, did you have a servant in hand? No. If I had a servant in hand, I would have done that first. <laughs> right. So I'm just trying to think of what cards could you possibly have in hand. Because unless you have a, because if you had a beast DR, you would have just placed played that first. Ah, you had the mighty master. Yeah, and I just realized a different play that I could have, that I should have done. Pendulum summon but first. I should have done a, I had an option of a pendulum summon of a useful monster, and I messed it up. <laughs> Was it jackal? It's fine. Yes. <laughs> That's fine. Oh shit. Okay, it's an interesting top deck, but let's see what you do. Uh Citadel is fine. Mm. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. It's a it's a very subpar play, but right now I All really right. shouldn't have placed the Citadel first. Alright. Normal summon. Yes. Pay off a distruder. I'm probably going to play a card that you probably did not expect to see. I think I've got an idea of what it's going to be. Okay, tell me now before I play it, because I'm going to make sure you laugh at it. Is it Quantum? No. Oh. It's an okay. oldie but goodie. Is it Arcanite? No. If I were to play Arcanite, I can't target your Mighty Master. True. It's not going to be Black Rose, because Black Rose isn't going to do anything either. Actually, you will. Because <laughs> it does destroy a Mighty Master. What? Yeah, Mighty... Wait, what? Oh, wait, no, fuck. But it does get rid of your other monster. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Reflection only gets her search if she dies in battle. <laughs> but, you don't, but it's not destroyed. So black rose board wipe. Yeah, so I get rid of my citadel and your monster, your reflection. Yeah, because yeah, I remove one, because I remove one from my, I remove one from my citadel to save it, and then it gains the one spell counter that reflection had. Uh. Good attempt. I'm just to set this one pass. Yeah. I shouldn't have played the Citadel. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Plus. Yeah, I'm gonna lose because that is true though. Yeah, I definitely lost because of the Destrudo. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you, I'm just gonna go ahead and let you do the plays because I felt bad for last game. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's instant. That's instant three on my Magister. Unfortunately or fortunately, because that is going to be Magister Summon Reflect. 
action. Maybe go to Electromite. If I feel the need to play the ele- if I feel the need for the Electromite, which right now I don't. There's no need for it, but I mean, come on, you, you might as well just go ahead and take full advantage of just going ahead and going to every play you can. Yeah, but I almost never make Electromite in my build. Uh, so pendulum summoning. Yep. Twenty-four. That was a jackal in hand. So. Yes. A uh, response to summon. Nope. Even if I did, I'd probably die from it. Alright. Uh, <laughs> reflection target, Magister in your back row. Bounce both. Yep. Wait, hold on. Before bounce. Actually, uh, so target is cost. So you're going to target your Magister? Target Magister and your set guard. Yeah, it's not going to really matter. I mean, unless you want me to activate it, <laughs> it's not going to really make much of a difference. It's up to you. I mean, do you want to respond to that? <laughs> oh, one cup. Um, not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought so. But I do get the mill, so I, I could really use that right now. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna put it on the Magister so that way you don't get the counters back. So it's. So spell resolves, so. You get one on Servant and Citadel as well. And I get three quickly. <laughs> One on Servant, one on Citadel. That's bounce back. And two on Jackal. And Reflection bounces and absorbs the counters that were on the card I chose to bounce, which was the Magister. <laughs> and people are, are like staring at something like, yay! This is why I much prefer automated. <laughs> That's the one part that I really don't like about Dueling Book, and I appreciate Dueling Book. It's a love-hate relationship with the manual process. And then just because I can. <laughs> yeah, just put two more counters on on everything, pretty much. Two on Jackal, one on Citadel, one on, on Servant. Go ahead, your Servant's effective. Just go ahead and possibly put over 9,000 damage on board. But I don't need to! You don't need to, but it's fun. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, yeah. Servant effect, move the three from Citadel instead. Plus, this is a plus, this is a fun setup as well. So I'm imagining another Mighty Master coming in. No, I'm going to be really cheeky. <laughs> just for kicks? Uh, uh, slightly. Oh, do you have a spell? Okay, let me bounce Gerudo back to my hand. Um, let's not draw this out. Yeah. Sorry, Time with Jackal, Sacred Reflection again. I'm just curious to see what one oh, I got. I just realized if I put Garuda in attack mode, I could have gamed you with Garuda. <laughs> <laughs> I would just want, I'm just curious what one would I have drawn next turn. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next game.
The one turn too late spear mode. Okay. Really glad I did. Really glad now. <laughs> that you didn't waste a turn? Yeah. That wouldn't have mattered much. All I had was a citadel and a mighty master in hand. Question is, what's going to be that third card I put back in? You know, I have nothing better. I'm just going to go ahead. No, I'm not going to be a dick and put the upstart back in. <laughs> <laughs> but if I do draw this one card, well, two copies of this one card, yeah. with no combo pieces, I'm going to be even madder. Cause I don't know a way that this that the deck can go ahead. Yeah. Okay, now this is interesting. This is real interesting. Cause this is why I play abductor. So, question is, should I go for the Citadel? Should I not go for the Citadel? I mean, I'm going to get it anyway, but... I mean, as far as the monster is concerned, but... Should I be, like, a real, real like cheeky bastard and just go ahead and try and put as many monsters on board and see if you have a sphere mode or not? Good, Derek. I'm just going to go with the safe play. Uh, effect of a doctor removing three. Yep. I already have one piece in hand, just needs to pick another. Hmm. Mighty Master. Yeah. Didn't really want to use my normal son, but I'm going to have to. Yeah. Just going to search right away. Zero. Chrono Checker? Yep. Unintentional game reference. Okay, so where the hell is Time Gazer? I'll see near the bottom. Okay, so electromite. Effect electromite. Yeah. Hmm. Should I go for the servant or should I go for safer play? I'm going to 
gonna go for the safe way. Yep. So, effect electromite. Yep. Going to add back the chrono. Yep. The one question I have is like, does chrono trigger at the same time as electromite or? So, ele so electromite's effect is mandatory, so that goes chain link one. Then you have the option of chronograph as chain link two. Yeah, that's the tough part. And of course, the more spell counter from the abductor gets transferred over to the citadel. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go for the draw. See what I get. Yeah. Okay, couldn't have asked for a better draw. I was thinking it was going to be a desire. Okay, turn, turn three, play in case. Okay, now that's just a dick card. <laughs> Wait, let's see what I banished. Oh, before I forget, let me put this, the counter on Citadel. Yep. Fuck. Okay, could have been worse. I pretty much just banished one of every possible card that I could have drawn. Ooh. Yeah, there's. Wait, hold on, never mind. There's a duplicate. And a, a very big duplicate that I wanted to draw. Shit. <laughs> hmm. So, I guess I'm going to have to do the following. So here. Yep. Still here. Yep. So two counters. Go ahead and pendulum. Yep. The good thing about Jackal is that you can use the counters from anywhere. Yeah. Bad thing is I don't have any spell or trap negates on the board at the moment, so let me go ahead and fix that. Like, I'm not sure about you, but I actually don't really like the Magician build. I mean, I get why it works, but the thing is about the Magician build that I personally feel like the same problem with this deck, one disruption could really screw you over. Yeah. Whoops. Almost hit show extra. Because <laughs> before I I messaged you, I was actually running cherries in my side in my side deck. Because I hate the Orcus matchup. Yeah, that's not fun. And unfortunately, when I use the LP's effect, I'm gonna have to get the one card that I didn't want to go ahead and have to use. But... It is what it is. Target pain. Vortex. And the seal of approval. <laughs> All right, so you're on. Monster negates and an Omni negates. 
and a bounce. Okay. Citadel. Yeah, let this slide. Of course you are. You're getting free spell counters on your jackal king that you can use later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there's also another thing. And if you really don't pay attention to it, it's really going to screw you over. Alright. Attempt institution. The question is, what do you have in your hand that you decide to activate both of those spells first? Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to knock that. I don't know what it is that you possibly could have in your hand, but I don't want to see you go ahead and go into it. So I'm going to go ahead and just return the time gazer back to my deck. It's kind of messed up my play slightly. Slightly. Hopefully it digs, that's the point. <laughs> the Vortex has done its negate, so the only thing I have to worry about now is the Jackal King negate. Which doesn't affect any of your pendulum monsters in the scales. Yep. Yeah. Well, starters, let's go with. Uh, what could he possibly want? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to chain the seal on that. Yeah, it's a bounce. No, I'm not going to bounce the Citadel. I'm going to bounce the Jackal. Yeah. And I'll go ahead and get the summon. Oh, what dragon's coming out? Nothing special. Oh. What could you possibly be worried about? I already have gone through the strudo. Oh, I was worried there might be an amorphage in there. I took it out. <laughs> oh, fair enough. I mean, I could have, but... Because I know you don't really like to use your extra deck, I just decided to take it out, because why? what's the point if you're not going to use it? That's a fair point. So, right. so my set of deck gets... Oh, crap. Yeah, that's cost. The one. That's yep. fine. Oh, thank that's God. It. Two good not cards. Ideal. ideal, but I'll work with that. Yep, you're good. Next. Uh, back to servants. Yep. That's another thing about servant that I like. Her monster effect actually does play into game. Like on yeah. your time. Okay, I'm gonna take you directly. The 900. Let's see how you, if you can go ahead and pass me during your main phase.
Hmm. I'm going to have to uh, ask, are you going to hate me for this? One. So, effective reflection, target, servant, and jackal king bounce both. Uh, I'm going to neg that. Yeah. Questions, do you have any other summons? Wonderful. I'm sensing a pendulum somewhere. Right. Uh, That's right. one scale. Uh, jackal effect target my citadel. Oh god, I know what's coming. <laughs> yep. Oh, I don't know what's coming. I thought it was Mighty Master. I wish. <laughs> I got so scared for a moment. Uh, Fed the Magister using Sister. Yep. And in this case, I'm just going to do this. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to remove those two counters here and one here. Oh. Dang. <laughs> I thought you were going to go for the mass for reflection. I already special. Can only be special summoned once per turn. So right. I already special. It off the servant, so I can't do it again. <laughs> right. Ah. <laughs> and that's a scale four, right? Yeah. So you would only have. You the only. So well, keep in mind, you know, you know the cards in my hand. The only card I can pen them summon, I can't special summon this turn. <laughs> hey, at least you still have servant. That's gonna go to your scale. If you less it. I can't negate it. <laughs> yes, you can. Oh, yes. it's, a, it's a monster fed that puts it in the scale. True. <sighs> Completely forgot about Garuda's existence. <laughs> oh, I just figured out how to do the most cheesiest thing I could do, but then I realized it's not going to be worth it. Yeah, it's not going to be worth it. So first off, I'm just going to go ahead and get this and this into my extra. To use the one card that I have never used until now. Daybreaker. I have literally never used this card. I'm intrigued you didn't go for the other extra monster zone, but okay. Uh, it really doesn't really matter at this point because of what I'm going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and... Pendulum summon. 